Well, I was about to load up and, well, I was loaded up and we were about to leave the campsite for the day to, you know, try to make a little bit of progress when Ivan's idea, hey Ivan, it fell apart. Not because it was a bad idea, but because um, the whole thing finally broke off. Uh, what did I do with it? But once the piece finally broke off and it came from right there where the well was, once I looked inside the broken piece, it was all rusted out. So I'm going to blame this on shoddy workmanship. Shh, quiet. Um, shoddy workmanship, because if that little part was rusted, it's no telling, you know, how many other pieces were rusted. And um, one of the first things I did when I got the cart was I bought a tarp and made a rain cover out of it, out, um, out of the tarp and, you know, some duct tape. So it hasn't been getting wet. So there's no way they can blame this one on me. And plus, I, I have I've only had it for maybe two and a half, three weeks. I'm still within the 30 day return policy. So there's not. A lot that I could have done to it to make it rusted um, where it fall apart so I came up with another idea to try and we'll hope hopefully this one will hold and it was kind of my first idea but I didn't have what I needed to make it work so um, that's why I went with the the stick and the duct tape idea because I had everything to make that work so it was worth a shot but luckily Ivan did leave me with a whole bunch of cord well not a bunch but enough cord for me to you know at least try um, and I, you know, a couple of different variations of the ideas because it's pretty strong cord. So I took that same cord and then um, I just kind of smashed the wheel into where the the bar is that you're supposed to attach to a bike. There's a little hollow space right here, so I just kind of smashed the whole thing in there. Um, I mean, I took a rock and smashed it in there real good. And I took the cord and just wrapped it and wrapped it, wrapped it. Same idea as the other time, but I used the screw that came with the wheel instead of the old screw that we found because I didn't need something that was that big. Plus, if this doesn't work, my next idea is to do this again, but I'll brace it more with the screw we found, which will probably bring it out to buy right here. And that might make it a little bit stronger because he had he gave me another bundle of this cord here. And this is my bungee cord. So, And I still have duct tape. So, uh, I think I got enough enough ideas to at least get me off the CNO Canal finally. Um, I've been here way too long, and I'm ready to leave it, honestly. You know, I should have been in West Virginia by now, and but here we are. Things don't go according to plan, and you know, you got you to gotta do the best you can. So, this is what I'm doing. So, we'll give that a shot. It's a little bit late in the day now. You, this is the the hottest part of the day and I try not to you know make Jacob walk during that time of day so I guess we'll hang out here for another couple of hours I put the tent back up so at least we can have some shade everything else is packed up though so I'll set my alarm for about two three hours and by then it should be you know cooler and you know because right now it's about noonish you know so between like 11 and 3 or 4 o'clock, like, that seems to be like the most the hottest time of the day. And also the time of day where I was able to do the least amount of miles just because it's so hot and I have to take frequent breaks. So that's why I started, you know, just taking a four hour break in the middle of the day and then getting starting again, you know, around 4 o'clock when it starts cooling down. And I'm able to, used to be able to keep up the same pace that I had set that morning at that point. So I covered the same amount of miles in less time and I wasn't as tired by the time I got to camp. So I started using that strategy and it was working for me until the cart broke down. <laughs> but live and learn. That's all I got for now. Talk to you later.